everybody. My name is Ailey Finlay and here I am at Wig Town Book Festival. Except, like a lot of you, I'm not actually in Wig Town. But I'm going to pretend that I am in that friendly little town. And I'm going to pretend I'm walking down the street looking in all the book shop windows at all the lovely books and I'm going to go in and out of the book shop doors like this. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them and all the little bells above the doors are going to tinkle like this. Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. Can you do it with me? Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. Well, my story today takes place in a little bookshop in Wigtown. It's all about a little brownie. Now brownies are magical little men who work very hard but get cross very easily. Once upon a time in Wigtown there lived a brownie in one of the bookshops. He slept under the stairs. Every night, the old woman who ran the bookshop would put out a big mug of creamy milk for the brownie. And every night, when the old woman went to bed, the brownie would get up. He would shake out his little penny. Shake, shake, shake. He would put it on and get the duster and he would dust, dust, dust. Then he would get the scrubbing brush and he would scrub, scrub, scrub. Then he would sort all of the books. Sort, sort, sort. And then he would polish the front doorstep. Rub, rub, rub. Then he would puff up the fire to make sure it stayed burning until morning time. Puff, puff, puff. And then he would get his mug of milk and drink it all down with a glug, a glug, glug. He would get into his little bed under the stairs and he would fall asleep. 
he was a busy little man. Let's see if we can remember what he did every night. First of all, shake out the penny. Shake, shake, shake. Then the dusting. Dust, dust, dust. And the scrubbing. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Sort out the books. Sort, sort, sort. And polish the front doorstep. Rub, rub, rub. Puff up the fire. Puff, puff, puff. Drink down your milk. Glug, glug, glug. And go to sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. But one night, something happened. He got up as usual. Dust, dust, dust. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Rub, rub, rub. Sort, sort, sort. Puff, puff, puff. Uh-oh. No milk. The old lady had forgotten to put out his milk. Well, it doesn't take much to make a brownie very, very cross. He stamped his little feet. Stamp, stamp, stamp. He waved his little fists. Wave, wave, wave. He frowned, a great big frown. Can you frown like this? And then he stomped over the clean floor. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Over the clean step. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Down the street, stomp, 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 past all the houses, past the church. He rolled himself up into a ball and roly poly, roly poly, down, down, down. He rolled right down the hill. And because he was a magical little man, he went right on rolling up the next hill. Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up and down. Roly poly, roly poly, down, down, down. Can you help him? Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up and roly poly, roly poly, down, down, down over the hills and far away and he was never seen again and after that the old woman in the bookshop she had to dust 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 she had to Scrub, scrub, scrub. She had to rub, rub, rub. She had to sort, sort, sort. And she had to puff, puff. Puff all by herself. And if you are ever in Wigtown walking down 
that friendly street, looking in all the bookshop windows at all the lovely books. Opening the doors, open them, shut them, open them, shut them, give a little tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. Keep an eye out for the little red penny that belongs to the brownie. I think he left it there when he got so cross. And if you find it, think of that little man working so hard every night. Well, it's time for me to leave Wigtown now. Time to me for me to say goodbye to all of the books and goodbye to all of the bookshops. Goodbye to the friendly, friendly festival and all the folk that make it work. And goodbye to all of you. And thank you for listening. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Hello, I'm Rachel Plummer, and this is my poem, Superhero. When I grow up, I will become a superhero like my mum who doesn't wear a lycra suit or hold a ray gun primed to shoot or swing from buildings on a web or fly like bullets overhead or drive a batmobile and park it my mum works in the supermarket if there's no food then no one eats no hearty meals no tasty treats so heroes like my mum are working hard wherever hunger's lurking Produce scanner, box unpacker, super empty shelf restacker. So thank her for your daily bread. She goes to work to keep you fed and then comes home to hug me tight and read me stories every night. My mum, the hero, hunger mender, key worker and smile defender. <laughs>